Hey guys, it's Anthony from Trotec Laser Canada. Today we're going to be showing you how we made more high-speed industrial applications. So these particular plates are anodized aluminum. You can mark them either with a CO2 or fiber laser. In this case, we're going to be using our Speedmarker 700 Galvo fiber laser. Let me show you how I set up the file in the Speedmark software. So to start making your ID takes, first open up your Speedmark software. It's a little bit different than our job control. Here you'll see your working area and your tools on the left hand side here. So for this demonstration we've made a pre-made template. To add a template you can add it by adding a bitmap PDF or DXF. Click anywhere on your working area, select your source. And now we have our pre-made template here. If you want to make this from scratch, of course, you could come here, click on your box, and make your own boxes, your own lines, and text. But for this demonstration, we're going to be showing you how we made these auto-generated serial numbers and dates, along with the barcodes here on this ID card here. So, to start, click on your text, add some text, change your font to whatever you may want it to be. We'll start with a simple part number, add your part number, and with your text selected, come to your source and select it as a serial number. From here, you'll make your start value what you have started your part number as. In increments of two for this job, because we have two cards, if you had a jig of 10 cards, you'd want it you'd want to do your increments of 10. So every time you start your new job, your new ID cards are numbered correctly. Uh, of course, we want an end value that's infinite because we'll be making as many as we can. And now you're set. You'll know you're set when you have a blue indication here for a serial number. Next, we'll show you how to make the date. We're going to be doing the same thing, adding our text, changing our font, Add, and with the text selected, go to your text source type and select the date and time. From here you could change your format to whatever you may need it to be. And you can also select a pre-select date by typing in your day, month, and year here. Once you have your blue DT letters under your text, you know your date and time has been activated. Next we'll show you how we made our barcode down here. Very simple. With Speedmark software, click on your barcode, click anywhere you'd like your barcode to be, select which barcode parameters you may want to have, and add your barcode. Now you can drag and drop this barcode anywhere you need it to be, and your ID cards are ready to be printed. So to do so, you could hit F9, and this dialog box will be popped up. You can see here we could print directly from here by simply hitting execute or F12. When placing our materials, you may not know where to place them if you do not have a jig. Uh, in order to place them correctly, you can select your overall job, hit F9, and select the selected box here to get an outline of where your job might be. You can also select F11 as a quick command. Once your material is positioned properly, you can then hit execute and watch your job be lasered. So let's take a look at our finished product. So think about your return on investment when you're doing hundreds of these. Thanks for watching guys, tune in for more industrial applications and don't forget to like and subscribe.